Tonight, the nation is in prayer for the people of Bohol, Cebu, and other areas hit by yesterday's 7.2 earthquake. Concern and compassion has poured from all over the country. We pay tribute to the leaders of these provinces for their courage in responding to the impact of the quake. One of them is Governor Edgar Chato of Bohol. Good evening, sir, and welcome to News Live. Governor? Hello, good evening. Robert, good evening. Good evening, sir. Sir, can you share with our people how you are coping and dealing with the crisis facing our people in your province? Well, this is a uh, sad chapter of uh, uh, the province of Bohol's history, but we, as a people, stand united to uh, face the challenges uh, before us, and uh, we are all working together, helping each other, and we are very appreciative of the strong support and compassion of uh, the Bohol, uh, not only in Bohol, but globally, and of course our fellow Filipinos and the leaders. Uh, the president's visit this afternoon or this morning rather was a, a very good indication of uh, the help of the national government in the restoration and rehabilitation efforts. Uh, the president brought the entire cabinet here uh, who would be responsible in major uh, programs that will rehabilitate the province. Uh, initially, the local governments of the province also started its own uh, individual roles in the local development councils to help out uh, those who were affected by uh, the earthquake. While we account now the number of uh, infrastructures affected, and most especially counting on uh, those uh, lives that may have been lost uh, because of the earthquake and injuries likewise, uh, the pouring in of uh, support and assistance is very much uh, appreciated by the people of Bohol. So do you have an update on the number of casualties and the damages to the uh, several infrastructures and homes and buildings in the areas that were hardest hit? Uh, the latest uh, uh, account, which we are also still verifying uh, and validating through our various sources, uh, this morning it was a 97 uh, count, but uh, t today, or rather t tonight, information they got was 144. Uh, this is on the death side, and when uh, on the side of uh, those uh, who were injured and uh, were admitted to the different hospitals in the province of Bohol, uh, it rose to 186. There are uh, 23 unaccounted persons or persons reported missing. Sir, is there sufficient supply of food, fuel, and water in the province right now? Um, we are uh, considering water supply as a very important uh, component, a uh, very important need that would always be addressed, especially uh, because when power supply is off and when the, the province is not yet fully re-energized, uh, we expect also an impact on the water supply run basically by uh, power as well. So uh, the, during the visit of the President, Secretary Almendras has assured us of the restoration of power uh, in the next few days and uh, that will be a full restoration that will help also in stabilizing uh, the supply of water. Initially now, we part of our distribution of relief is also in uh, the distribution of uh, uh, water to the different affected areas in the province other than some food supply also that can, uh, you know, um, keep up with uh, the, the people, especially those who have decided to leave their houses mm -hmm. initially as the, uh, the uh, aftershocks are still being felt. Mm -hmm. So now how many relief centers do you have right now and how many people are housed in these centers? Um, come again, I could not get you, Robert. So right now, how many relief centers um, do you have um, uh, in the province and how many people are being housed in these centers? Uh, people here in the province, uh, they, their feeling of safety is uh, always attached to the fact that if there are still um, uh, aftershocks, uh, many or some would not uh, feel comfortable going back to their homes, especially in the evening. So they decide to camp out. Uh, as I travel to the towns, there are tents that are established in open spaces, even near their homes, but in more secured areas. In Pangilaran City, 
we have opened the CPG sports complex, a big and huge oval uh, that will be a temporary uh, sleeping area for uh, the people who would decide not to sleep in their homes. Uh, normally in the morning they go back to their houses, but uh, they return to the oval uh, to pass the night. So. Uh, it will be a safer place for them. Um, the uh, aftershocks are still felt uh, in the province, and uh, we have assured them that there is no cause for panic, actually, because the aftershocks, as Steve Ox has assured us, are, are definitely a lot smaller in degree or lower in degree compared to the original 7.2 magnitude. So are you still feeling aftershocks uh, uh, up to this moment? Uh, a few a few uh, hours ago, yes. Uh, but as I said, uh, the aftershocks uh, may have run to high numbers, like eight eight hundred. But the uh, aftershocks that are felt are only about twenty. So now, um, looking at the hospitals, are they now f in uh, full capacity due to victims being brought to um, from areas um, devastated? Or uh, again, since uh, as you mentioned before. Um, are people there are quite scared and want to actually be in open areas? Um, I'm not sure if I got the question, uh, Robert. Yeah. The line is not quite clear. So with regards to the hospitals, are they at full capacity right now? At the Oval? Your ho the hospitals in, the, in your province. Oh, okay, the hospitals, yes. yes. Uh, the hospitals in, uh, in uh, Bohol are uh, more than the, the, the dead capacities that are normally admitted. And uh, we have so also, many of our hospitals have also uh, improvised uh, additional beds to accommodate those that have been admitted in their respective uh, hospitals. So uh, we also have uh, uh, ensured that the different hospitals uh, continuously have supply of uh, the medicines that will be needed. Uh, so we are getting the support not only from the uh, provincial government, but also uh, from the PCSO and the other uh, agencies. So uh, in terms of number, uh, the admitted number to the hospitals has run to about 186, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Sir, are there any, uh, were there any hospitals that were damaged due to the quake? Uh, come again. So were hospitals damaged due to the quake? Oh yeah, uh, there is a hospital that uh, has reported partial damage uh, due to the quake. Now, uh, even those hospitals that have not been uh, damaged, uh, some the, the, the patients would prefer to stay out of the uh, high-rise uh, structures of the hospital and uh, stay somewhere in buildings close to the hospital that are just one level like a, a chapel beside the hospital, or even in the hospital grounds. I went to the town of Katibian uh, earlier today, and uh, saw that the tents were put up in front of the hospital, but in the, in, the, in the frontage part where there are no trees, there are no buildings nearby, uh, just to make sure that they uh, are uh, feeling uh, more safe there rather than getting inside the hospital. But they still provide the health services just the same, even under that condition. So have you been able to assess the percentage of the damaged infrastructure in the areas affected by the quake? Yes, we are making an inventory on the uh, infrastructures uh, of, of the different areas, and our inventories are also, also being submitted uh, the Department of Public Works and Highways on the, on the part of national government run and maintained national roads, including bridges, and uh, also the Provincial uh, Engineering Office for structures that are uh, belonging to roads and bridges of the provincial government. And we are also asking the local government units to do the same so that we can collate the total uh, estimates of the damages that also would need rehabilitation later on and some sourcing as well. So in a final word, what else does your province need in terms of support and help? Um, I did not get the question, Robert, sorry. Uh, so in a final word from you, sir, what else do you need in terms of support and help in your province? Oh, uh, as on this point in time, uh, we said that our, our people here would definitely need 
the support in form of uh, water supply because this is a basic requirement uh, that every uh, every uh, victim would definitely need. And uh, we need uh, water supply. We need easy to cook food and easy to serve food, uh, which uh, can be given to evacuees in the different areas of uh, the province. Okay, on that note, thank you very much sir, for joining us here tonight on News Live. That was Bohol Governor Edgar Chato. Sir, we are praying for you and our people in Bohol. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Robert. And we are very thankful uh, for the President's visit here in the Cabinet. We're sure that uh, our rehabilitation will be faster with the support of everyone. Thank you very much again to TV4. Yes, sir.